Okay, so once you've got Fusion open, we are going to start begin with doing the toothpaste tube. So we're going to go and create a sketch, and then we are going to choose this side plane here. So to begin with, we're going to go to rectangle. Now just be aware as well, I've not gone over this yet in any of the previous videos. There are a few different ways you can draw rectangles. To begin with, normally it does corner to corner. So I click one corner, and I can pick the other corner like that. The other really useful way to do, if I delete that one, is you can, if I go back to rectangle again, you can do center rectangle. So that will let you find the middle and draw outwards. So for what we want, that's gonna be a lot easier to be a bit more accurate to it. So we're gonna start with a rectangle and we're gonna do 50 mil, then hit tab on the keyboard, so I'll switch to the one by two and hit enter. So now we, so far when we were doing shapes, we've used extrude and we've used revolve. So those are quite simple methods for making shapes. If you've got a certain shape that can't be made in that way, the other one really to use is loft. So we're going to try and loft that to another surface. Now we need to have another sketched profile to loft it to. So we're going to go on finish sketch and then we're going to construct and go on offset plane and just click on that profile and we can drag that how far we want. So what we are going to do, we are going to do a distance of 170 and hit enter and then we're going to click on create sketch like that and then we're going to draw a circle and we're going to make sure that we are going to do it from the center so that the, the centers of both profiles line up. We're going to click outwards and we would like to do uh, 35 mil like that and hit enter and then hit finish sketch. So you should have two profiles, one is your rectangle and one is your circle. So we want to join those two together in like a shape. So we're going to go to create and go to loft. And what you need to do is select which profile. So we're going to select this one and this one and hit OK. So already we've sort of got the a two face tube kind of shape that we want. Now, looking at this shape, it's not a complex shape, but you couldn't really have created that by doing like a sketch and extruding it. You couldn't have really revolved anything. So, yeah, any other unusual kind of shape, a loft is normally the way to go. And you can go back and change. Later on, so for example, if I go and edit sketch here, and then if I take this and say if I was to rotate it and finish, you'll see that it will rotate it and make it a little bit more unusual that way. So there is lots of things you can play around with, with lofting. So we've got the first little basic shape, so we're going to do a few more lofts as we're going along. So we next are going to create another offset plane. So we're going to go to construct. Now with offset planes, you can go to construct and come down here. But if you just hit, hit this top icon, that's because offset planes are the most frequently used one. That's the like the hot key for it. And I click on this surface and we would like to come out five mil. Okay. okay. So on this, we are then going to create a sketch and we're going to create a sketch that is 20 mil. Again, making sure we're in the center and we're going to do 20 mil, hit enter and finish sketch. So we're then going to loft this profile here to the new sketch we've just done. So we're going to, to create and loft. So I'm going to click that one there to here. Now to show you, so that's what we want, but it matters where you click. So if I click on this like right in the middle little dot, you'll see what happens is rather than going to the whole profile, it's just going to that very, very specific dot. So it, just be aware with lofting, it does matter where you click, okay? So it's important you make sure you click in the right place. So I'll just come out of that one. That's just, oops, excuse me. So let's just go back, go to create and loft. So this profile to there. Okay, now we could have done loads and loads of sketches to begin with before doing any lofting. I personally prefer to do um, two profiles, loft them and sort of build it up that way because you can start to see it coming together a bit more. Some people like to do all of the sketching first and then loft it all in one go. It really is down to preference really. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Okay, so next we are going to do another offset plane. So we're gonna click on there. We're gonna come up 11 mil, hit enter. Gonna create a sketch. And again, from the middle, I wanna do a circle that is 15 mil. So I'll do 15, hit enter, finish sketch. Go to create and loft. So I wanna do that profile to that profile. 
Okay, and as you can see, we'll just a second. You start, start definitely starting to get the shape of a toothpaste tube, um, sort of shape. So we've got a couple more lofts left to go. To go. So we'll go to offset again. Let's come up five mil, and then we will create a sketch again from the center. Let's do another fifteen mil circle. Hit enter, finish sketch. Create, go to loft, like that. So that is the basic overall shape that we need. So we want to make sure we have make it look more realistic. So there's a few other things we're going to do. So first of all, let's create a lid. So like we did with the Coca-Cola tutorial. So we're going to go up to surface, and we are going to. So there are two different lids you could do. Some people like to do the use a thread and do like a screw top lid. Or you can do the little hinged lid kind of one, which is the one we're going to go with. So I'm going to go to Create and Offset. So I'm going to click on this surface. I'm going to come out 0.5. And you can just do 0.5. You don't need to do 0 0.5. It will know what you're on about. And I'm going to hit OK. And if I just jump back over to Bodies again, so you can see I've got the solid body and then I've got my surface body there. So remember, with surfacing, to begin with, it's just like paper thin. Okay, it's not a solid body, so we can add it, actually edit it and make it mess around with it. So we're going to, at the minute, we've just got the cylinder. We want it to be a, a full on lid, so we're going to create a um, patch and click on the surface we want to patch, which will co cover the top bit. And then at the minute, there are two separate ones, so I can turn one off or the other off. So I want them to be together, so we're going to stitch. So I'm going to click on stitch, stitch that one to that one together, and it will show you a little green line to show it will stitch it. Okay. So. Back over to the left hand side you can see I have just got one uh, surface done. Okay, so then let's thicken that. So let's go to create and thicken. I'll select all of it and again I'll do 0 0.5. Hit enter. So you can see straight away I have got a body that has now appeared. And if I turn my other body back on, so you can see I've got a lid that matches up. So I'm just going to save this just so I know it's all. Uh, or to save as enabled. Remember, when you save first time, you then don't need to save again because it will keep saving constantly as you're working. So it's very important to keep doing that. And I know for a fact now I haven't done it as components yet because I want to do it all together and then I'll make it um, bodies from components. So from this lid, again, we want to add little details to make it look more realistic. So with our lid, let's go on move and I'm going to have this open a little bit, I think. So let's rotate it round a little bit. OK. The trickiest thing really with most cab packages are trying to move in three dimensions. It does get a little bit fiddly sometimes, so it can be a little bit irritating. But it's always a good idea to sort of do a little bit, hit OK, and keep checking to see where you're up to. Now I've left a little gap because I'm going to do a little hinge that goes with that in a second. Okay, so I've got my lid where I want it. So let's add a few little details. So I'm going to jump back over to solid. So do make sure you check which area you're in. So in the minute we're in surface, I don't want to be in surface anymore. I want to be in solids. So I want to make those little ribs sort of like brippy parts to the lid. So I'm going to construct and I'm going to go to tangent plane. So I'll click on this surface and what that has then done is made a plane just on the very surface of that circle that I can then pattern around. So I'm going to click on sketch. And let's just rotate around a little bit like that. So now I am going to press P for project and just project that body so I can use that geometry in a second and I'll create a rectangle. Now you can't draw rectangles in a diagonal to begin with, so you need to draw it. Hit escape my keyboard and then if I double click, select the whole thing right click and move then I can move it into place as I want and then let's bring it down like that and I don't really want to go right up to the very top so what I might then do is offset let's click on that and let's come down 0.5 this is why I projected as well so I can project the actual surface I'm going to go minus 0.5 like that, and the only reason I did that was so that I could just grab this profile that I want here. Okay, so I'm going to create and pattern, circular pattern. 
that's that's extrude first. So I'm going to E on my keyboard, so I'm going to click on this surface here. Just rotate so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to come down. Okay, now actually I've made myself a, my life a little bit more difficult, so what I'm going to do, just quickly, I'm just going to go back in time. So I'm going to move to before I did those moves. So then I'm going to do it here instead. So let's do this. I'm going to do construct, tangent plane, hit OK, P for project, oh, start my sketch, sorry. Then I'll hit P for project. Now this way I know I'm going to be exactly in the middle. So that's why I, I kind of undid what I just did because I wasn't going to be exactly in the middle. So I'm in the sketch now. So let's do a rectangle. Let's do a center rectangle. So I know I'm going to be exactly in the middle. And then let's do offset again. So we did 0.5. Okay, I'll sit on the other side, so it'd be minus 0.5 if it's going in the opposite direction. Okay, and then I'm going to hit E for extrude, and then I'm going to come down, let's rotate the door around so you can see what I'm doing. E for extrude, let's come down 0.4, or minus 0.4. So just a little play around and see what you think looks right, hit enter and then we'll circle it back to it. So the only reason why I did this before I was moving, because once I moved it, it was gonna be a little bit more difficult to get it centered. And if you don't have it centered, it then doesn't look quite right. So we're gonna to go to pattern, circular pattern, change this to features. I wanna do this extrude, and I wanna do it around this circle. And then let's play around with, let's say 25, enter. So that looks about right, I would say. So you can always, if you decide that you need to have more or less, I can always right click here, go edit, and add in more or less later if I want to. Then let's just fill it here. So let's try 0.5, hit enter. And then if I move back in my history, you'll see that it'll start to move again to where I moved it into place. So I've gone, that's kind of an exercise in going back in time in the timeline and editing things. Um, by doing things again before they happen so it'll sort itself out um, and it, that is quite a useful little trick to remember to do. So I want to make like a little hinge so I kind of want to draw in the middle but at the minute there's no real way for me to do it. So I want to kind of make a mid plane so I'm going to go on construct I'm going to go to tangent plane I'm going to click on the top there and I'm click OK and then I'm going to rotate round I'm going to do the same on the bottom tangent plane OK. So as you can see there, I've got two planes. Now I want one right in the middle. So I can go to Construct and I can go to Mid Plane. I can click on that surface and that surface and hit OK. And then I've got one right in the middle that I can draw on. So I don't need these ones anymore. So I'm going to click on it and hit V, which will hide it. Do the same on the bottom one. So it's two extra steps, but I still end up with the exact plane that I want. So let's create a sketch. Okay, and now we are going to P for project, just to project the body so it'll snap on. And the reason why we do that is so that you, when you get these little dots and these blue lines, it means when you're sketching something, you can snap onto it, because sometimes you can't always do that. So then we are going to just sort of measure out a little bit of how we want our hinge to look. I'm going to have to rotate this one in a second, because it's not in line so let's move that let's not do that let's just delete that little constraint there let's go to move move it into position now I want to make this quite a bit smaller. Hit enter, so I can then just drag this down a little bit. I'll do the same on this one, drag it down so it comes to there, and hit 
them. So this looks a little bit. And then I kind of want to make a little bit so they connect together. So I'm going to go to arc, three point arc, connect this corner to this corner. I'll do the same, this corner to this corner. So in fact, let's escape a second. Let's just drag this a little bit so it looks a little bit more. Let's try that. But don't be afraid to try things and if it doesn't quite look right, you sort of go back later and mess around with it. So let's, in fact, let's delete that one. And let's try and see how this looks. Let's do arc and try this corner to this corner. That looks a bit better, I feel. So let's finish sketch. I'm going to hit E for extrude. I want to do those three profiles there. Rotate around. So you can see that's right in the middle. So I'm going to drag up. Oh, I'll try that again. So I'm going to drag up. At the minute, it's only going in one direction. So in the extrude menu, I can change that to be symmetric. So it's going to be the same on both sides. I'll drag it up to about there. And rather than cut, let's do join. And hit OK, and you can see there now I've got a decent looking hinge. Now I, I want to just fill it though so it doesn't look all sharp. So let's just fill it these edges a little bit. Let's try that out point one. So I mean, this is quite a small thing, so you want to make sure if you try and do a fillet and you just try to drag it, you'll find sometimes it'll just say error straight away because the thing you're working on is actually very, very small and you're trying to do a huge fillet. So it's always better to just put in the measurements. Okay, so I've now got my little hinge for my lid. So a few other little features. I know we obviously need to do like a little hole and things like that, but let's just go to this end over here. So I'm going to click on create a sketch on this end. And I'm going to go on finish sketch. Now the reason I've done that is once you create a sketch, it actually made a little profile I can already click onto. So I'm going to click on that. Click on E for extrude. I'm going to drag out and I'm going to bring that out about four mil. And hit enter. And then I'm going to chamfer those ends. So let's go on chamfer. That. Now I did this rectangle was uh, two millimeters wide. So I know let's do a fillet of one and those will join together. Hit enter. So you can see it's definitely starting to take the shape a bit more. So then let's go into the top view. And then I can create a sketch on this surface here. Let's go to rectangle. I'll draw a rectangle bigger than the area I need because I only want a little bit of a profile. Click on E and then I can just select this profile here. And we'll come down. Let's try maybe minus 0.3. Okay, and then we'll pattern that along this path here. So we go to create pattern, pattern on path. We're going to go to features, select that, extrude, path. We just need a line that goes in the same direction. Now at the minute it says invalid settings because we've not actually dragged it anywhere. But as soon as you start dragging the arrow there, drag it to the end where you want it to go. And then let's, so you can even put in the measurements there for how long it wants to be. So if we say 50, it'll go a little bit over because we've actually come in a little bit from the edge. So let's change that to say, oh, not 58, try to 48. And you'll see that that'll come in. And then the amount we want to do. So let's do a little bit of trial and error. Let's try maybe 16, 18, enter. So you see we're sort of getting that little textured look to the end of the tube that you often see. Now we want to have that on the other side, so we need to mirror that. So again, what we'll do, we'll make a little mid-plane, but because it's flat, it's relatively easy to do. So we're going to do Construct, Mid-plane. So I can click on this surface here, rotate over, and do that surface there. So that's right in the middle. And then again, I can go to Create and Mirror. I want to mirror Features. Just make sure with mirrors and things like that, just make sure you have the right thing selected. So for the most part, we do features. So occasionally we'll do bodies. So go to features, 
I want to do that extrude and I want to do that pattern. The mirror plane is that mid plane there. Hit OK. And now if I rotate over, you see it's on the other side, so it saves us having to do the same job multiple times. So starting to look quite nice along there. So what I will do as well is just create a little lip on the inside of this lid so it looks like how the actual um, lid would snap on. So I'm going to do a little offset. I'm going to come in about there. Let's do the same again. Now remember you can't offset an offsetted line so you need to go back to the original line. So let's come out like that. Hit it OK and then we can select that surface. Hit E for extrude. We don't want to come all the way out. Let's come out just a little bit. So this is basically how the lid would like snap on. So we've got the little hinge, but then we've also got the little bit that will click, like pop on too. Now I do want to shell that, but before I do that, I want to try and make it look a little bit more realistic once obviously we've added materials and those sort of things. So what we're going to do is try and make it look like it has been squeezed. So what we want to do is we're going to sort of like do a little bit of uh, an offset plane and sort of do a spline to kind of make it look like it's something that someone's just grabbed the tube and squeezed it so it looks a bit more realistic. Let's create an offset plane, click on this surface, then let's just drag outwards like that, and then I'm going to click on sketch. And there's no real technical way for this, I'm just going to go to spline, I'm going to click on it, and I'm just going to sort of like come in, not too far, just mess around with it a little bit like that and then remember with splines you have to hit the arrow and you can alter these so I didn't quite like where that one ended up so let's see if we can bring that down a bit more there you go and then Dan now I want to mirror that on the other side so what I need to do is L for line I'm going to have a line just going straight through the middle like that now your mirror lines don't have to be all the way, a mirror line can literally be like a millimetre long if you really want it to be. So we're going to mirror that across. Now just remember with mirrors as well, um, it matters if you're in sketching or if you're in modelling mode. So you can only mirror sketch lines if you're already in a sketch. So we're going to mirror, I want to mirror that line, and the mirror line is that line I just drew there. So you see now that it's cut it straight across. Go to finish sketch and we're going to go to modify and we're going to go to split body, I want to split that body, I want to split it using those two lines like that, hit OK. So you see it's sort of done there, now if you look on the bodies menu, you can see I've got a lot more bodies there, so I can click on that one, and you can see it's sort of like got little grooves on it now, and we can, if you click on it, and then in your menu it'll underline which one it is, so it's that one. Now we definitely don't want those anymore, so I'm going to just right click and go on remove, Right click, remove like that. So I've got three bodies now. So I've got the main body there. And I've got the insert. So I actually want to join that. So let's just combine that one and that one. And hit OK. So it's now together. So what is that body then? Let's just see. OK. So I've not joined that together. So let's just do that as well. Combine those two together. So now I've just got one body. Now I want to make that look a little bit more rounded, so we'll just add a little fillet to it. So I go to fillet, click on the whole surface, let's try maybe like 0.2, a little bit more. Okay, and then let's do the same. On the side, so I'm going to rotate over, hold control on my keyboard, and click on that, and hit OK. Now, at the minute, obviously, it doesn't look that realistic, but that's because we've not had decals and those sort of things on it yet. So let's just jump over to render and see how it looks. So it kind of looks. You can see how it kind of looks like someone has, um, excuse me, <coughs> um, squeeze the tube a little bit. So let's come out of render, go into design. The last little bit before we start trying to make it look more realistic shell it or put a little hole going through it so let's we'll try shell we might not work now because we've split the body a little bit so let's just click on that and drag in a little bit okay I don't think it's gonna let us because we've split the body a little bit there so it's gonna have a little moment 
but we'll see in a second once it's finished I'm trying to calculate what we're doing. Any second now. Okay, so yeah, it's same because we split the body a little bit. So let's try point one. See what happens. No, it's not going to like that. Okay, so let's just cancel out of this. Okay, so because we're only after like the appearance of this, what we'll do, we'll put a hole in there instead. Um, if I hadn't have tried to make it look like it'd been squeezed, we wouldn't have that same problem. It would be able to shell it, no problem. But because I was trying to make it look a little bit more realistic, we kind of ran into that problem a little bit. So let's just go to hole, click on that surface there. I can drag that so it goes right in the middle, make it bigger. Rotate around so I can see what I'm doing. And then we can drag that all the way down to where we want to go it. And hit OK. So you can see there, at least goes in a little bit. And then there's one other thing, sorry, I wanted to add. So we want to kind of make it look like some toothpaste is coming out. So again, I want to have a mid plane right in the middle. I haven't got one of those. So we'll do the same thing we did before. We'll go to construct um, tangent plane. Let's click on this surface here. We'll do the same on the other side. Go on this surface here. And the only reason we're doing that is so we can make a mid plane. So we can go to mid plane between there and there. Okay. So we've got one right in the middle. So let's get rid of this one again. Click on it. Press V. Click on this one. Press V. So we've got one smack bag in the middle, which is what I wanted. Okay. So we're going to create a sketch. And I, we don't want to lot out just a little bit to again make it look more real. When we come to rendering things, you want it to look realistic. So we're going to go to arc, three point arc, and I'm going to just start in here a little bit. Just click out a little bit and come up and click escape. So I've got that. Then let's click on finish sketch. So then I want to construct and then plane along a path. So that again, not to make a plane, but a path can be a line. I'm going to click on this, so it's right at the end. Click on OK. And I'll create a sketch on that plane. And we only want a circle. We want a circle that's slightly smaller than that one. So we'll click and draw out a little bit of a circle. Click on Finish. And then what we're going to try and do is sweep. If I can stop rotating crazily. There we go. Go to Create and Sweep. So the profile I want to sweep is that one. Oh, now I'm on left. Sorry, that's the wrong thing. I want to be on sweep. So I'm going to go to create and sweep. So I want to sweep that profile. And the path I want to do it along is that one there. I don't want it to cut. I want it to be a new body. So you can see it sort of looks like it's coming out a little bit. Let's click OK. And then let's just fill at the end so it's not. A solid piece so it kind of looks like a little bit of toothpaste so in terms of the modeling side of the toothbrush a toothpaste sorry um i would say that is done so 